Hello everyone. Today I will be doing the mind map of the poem My Mother at 66 by Kamla Das. Mind map as you know is a tool to concise the information in a graphic form. It will help you to understand the poem and the main points in a better way. So let's get going. Let's ponder on the main points of the poem. Poem is composed by Kamla Das who wrote under the pen name Madhava Kutti. The poem My Mother at 66 is a beautiful reflection of Kamla Das sensitivity as a writer. It highlights her deep understanding of the complexities of human relationships and explores the pain and agony of her aged mother. It is a sentimental account of the mother's approaching end through the eyes of the daughter. The poem is written in a free verse and expresses the anguish of a daughter over her mother's advancing age and the fear of permanent separation from her. The poem examines the themes old age and the fear of loss and separation. The poet relates a personal experience. She brings out a common paradox of human relationships and portrays the sentimental separation of a mother and a daughter. She has been able to capture almost all the emotions which a daughter is filled with on bidding farewell to her beloved mother the whole poem is a single sentence punctuated by commas the poet has used many poetic devices like simile personification contrast repetition and imagery to create a rhythm to enhance the poem's meaning and to make it more interesting and beautiful As discussed in the previous slide the whole poem is in a single sentence punctuated by commas it is called enjambment it is used in poetry to trick a reader poets lead their readers to think of an idea then move on to the next line giving an idea that conflicts with it the poem my mother at 66 follows a single line of thought and switches between the physical and emotional worlds with great fluidity now let's talk about the figures of speech used in the poem the poem makes use of a natural unaffected rhythm striking imagery and other poetic devices to convey the insecurities and apprehensions of the poet about her rapidly aging mother and the inevitable separation that must follow the poet uses the device of simile on two instances first when she compares her mother's pale face with that of a corpse her pale face ashen like that of corpse the mother seems to have lost all vitality and looks like a dead body She again compares her mother with the moon in the winter time a brilliant imagery of the winter moon is used as we know winter symbolizes death here winter is used to evoke a sense of an ending like the aging mother the simile worn pale as a late winter's moon is quite appropriate to describe the round pale face of the aged mother which is indicative of her very frail health and approaching death the personification is used with respect to trees trees sprinting and what is personification when we give human characteristics to animals or plants or non living things the poet kamla das imagines the trees to be figures that are running alongside her car The movement of trees and children is in sharp contrast to the dozing posture of her mother. The poet uses the device of metaphor in line when she speaks trees printing the merry children spilling out of their homes to show the contrary image of her mother's age and approaching end. The repetition in the last line all I did was smile and smile and smile when she had to subdue her feelings and tried not to show her emotion to her mother this intermingling of emotions of love hope longing nostalgia fear and a sense of helplessness at the face of the inevitable 
seems to find its way in the repetition of the final words of the poem all i did was smile and smile and smile the tone of this poem is predominantly pensive and sorrowful the poet was driving from her parents house to kochi near port the previous friday while inside the car she happens to see her mother sitting beside her doze off the striking image of a woman weakened by age dozing off with her mouth open leaves a very strong impression on the poet who feels that her mother's face resembles the pale face of a dead body like that of a corpse she suddenly realizes that her mother has grown old and will die soon leaving her alone in this world the thought of her mother rapidly advancing towards death deeply disturbs her and she attempts to put the thought away by looking outside the window of the car where she sees young trees sprinting the merry children spilling out of their homes the image presents a sharp contrast to the poet's weak and dozing mother the children symbolize the spring of life and the old mother's pale and ashen face symbolizes her imminent death the spontaneous overflow of life symbolized by the children is in contrast with the passive and inactive life of the aged mother when she reaches the airport and the security check is done she once again glances at her mother the dull pale face of her mother reminds her of the late winter's moon ready to wither away any moment the poet's childhood fear of losing her mother haunts her once again at last she says goodbye to her mother with a smile and without disclosing her feelings and fear of separation even her words see you soon seem ironical to her for she is not sure how soon she would be able to see her and also if the mother would be alive for that long however she hides all her worries and anxieties behind a long and sweet smile and bids her mother a cheerful goodbye on this slide you can see the complete mind map of the poem my mother at 66 by kamla das through this i have given you a complete overview of the poem and i hope that all your doubts are now clear and you have understood the poem thoroughly so don't forget to leave a comment and share it with your friends Thank you so much for watching right till the end so if you like the video please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it and if you are happy with my presentation give me a thumbs up don't forget to give your valuable comments keep watching english tutorials by poonam thakur